did one bone say to the other bone? What are you doing in a joint like this? But um bum Yeah. Okay, I know jokes never come out good on camera, but it helps illustrate this whole topic, and that is where bones come together, they are called joints. Let's take a look at some fundamentals of the joints. First, joints are what allow us to be able to move. If you remember from your days as a child playing with action figures, when I'm in class, I always compare Barbie dolls and G.I. Joe dolls. The G.I. Joe dolls had multiple action poses. You could hold the gun and move the hands and all this cool stuff, while the Barbie doll kind of didn't move much, okay? The difference was articulations, joints, where the body parts could move. We get movement only where there's joints. I mean that as far as visible motion. Obviously, we can have food moving down, et cetera, et cetera, but the physical motions, our movements that you're seeing right now occur because there are joints there which allow motion. We can classify joints by two different schemas, two different classifications. These are not mutually exclusive. What I mean by that is you can be a student, we can classify you by student, and we can classify you by gender. You can be parts of both groups. That's what we're talking about here. The joints can be classified by degree of movement, and they can also be classified by their structure. Let's take a quick look at the degree of movement, and then in our next video, we'll take a look at structure a little bit more deeply. So taking a look at movement, we have synarthrosis, amphiarthrosis, and diarthrosis. Synarthrosis is immovable. There's no movement. It is locked steady for the most part. Amphiarthrosis, there's some wiggle room. There's some movement. And diarthrosis, wow, go crazy. Tons and tons of movement. Now, I'm always one to try to find ways to help students remember things, mainly because as a student myself back in the day and still going to school for other things right now, I'm always looking for helpful hints in how to remember things. And for the life of me, couldn't come up with one on this one. And I had the synarthrosis, antiarthrosis, and diarthrosis in a table with immovable, slightly movable, and movable right next to it. And one of my high school students at the time, I was teaching high school, one of my high school students, she actually was a valedictorian, went sadism. <laughs> um, excuse me? Sadism, Mr. Ford, sadism. Uh, okay, and this has what to do with, and then she was like, look, synarthrosis, amphiarthrosis, diarthrosis, right? Immovable, slightly movable, movable. S-A-D-I-S-M. Brilliant, great way to remember it. I'm telling your parents, <laughs> remember high school, anyway. But remember that, synapthrosis, amphiarthrosis, diarthrosis, immovable, slightly movable, movable. In our next video, we're going to take a look at the ways these things are structured.